scientific research proves that those countries, those societies that uh, embrace, accept diversity are stronger, are more resilient. I think the uh, inequality between men and women is less in Belgium than uh, in the Czech Republic, but that will change for the better for the Czech Republic, of course. The societal acceptance of um, other um, gender identities, I think, is, is a bit further in Belgium, but there again, there too, uh, the Czech Republic will quickly catch up. Um, I think the big difference is the presence of other ethnic groups in Belgium. Um, the Czech society is much more um, homogenous than the Belgian society. Um, but still, um, in, in Belgium there is a very long way to go to include everybody in our society. And it's, it's um, a struggle we have to fight every day. And of course it has its challenges, but um, it has its opportunities as well. Today and for the rest of our lives, let's embrace diversity. Not just as a characteristic, but as a driving force for progress. Let's learn from each other and build bridges that connect us, just as the highways that crisscross Belgium connect our regions. It's, it's like in, in a company, if you have one boss in the company who decides everything, then chances are that uh, that decision might be wrong. But if you include many people in your decision-making process, if you include the wisdom of people with different backgrounds, you will come to solutions that are much more creative and much more sustainable than um, decisions and conclusions taken by a limited number of people who all have the same background and who all think alike. If you take 10 people with the same background uh, to discuss a problem, they will come with the same solution. All ten of them. But if you take ten people with a different background, then they might all start to look at the problem from a different angle and come up with a solution that is much more sustainable and creative, just a better solution.